What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. First of two finales. We are getting into the finale of National Season 2, Episode 12. Very excited to see where they leave us off with this season. It's been a lot of fun. We've been seeing Mash continue to prove everybody wrong, that he can step up and perform on his fucking own with no magic. Had a lot of crazy stuff happen last episode in terms of seeing Wahlberg officially run out of gas. You know, he was down for the count. Ryo, I think is how you pr pronounce his name correctly, apparently, um, was the one that caught him from falling out of the sky. And, you know, because he it used up all his power, he couldn't stay up any longer. And picked him up, made sure he was safe and was all good. And then that's when Wahlberg mentioned, like, you know, where's Mash? Like, where'd he, where'd he go? And... Ryo was like, Mash was here. What the fuck are you talking about? And that's right when Innocent Zero was starting to leave because the whole reason why he needs or wants an immortal body is because the amount of magic power that he has, his body cannot sustain, you know, a normal body like that. Um, so that's why he has created these six children or whatever. And I think that was done with making clones basically of his own blood, so to speak. Uh, and that's including Mash, and I think also Cell and the other four. You got me, I don't know. But that, this is his whole goal and, and, and why he's doing it uh, to get that immortal body so he can be able to use the amount of magic power and all this crazy shit to his disposal as much as he wants. So we saw him starting to, you know, kind of struggle with the amount of power that he's already put out and, you know, his body kind of like rejecting that. So he's like, I, I got to dip. So he gets ready to leave, but before he does, gathers up all of those demons that were up in the Colosseum, puts them all into one, makes this giant demon that just is going to wreak havoc, you know, could destroy a town by itself if it wanted to. And uh, then since Innocent Zero leaves and just leaves them to deal with that, his time magic is undone to where everybody is not frozen anymore. Everybody starts to panic. What the fuck is going on? This is crazy. I don't want to die. And then lo and behold, Mash comes through and fucking handles this goddamn demon giant ass motherfucker by himself. Everyone witnesses this, which is great because if you talk shit after this, if you hate on Mash after this, you are just stupid. Like, I, you, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Like, you're a dumbass if you are still hating on him after he just saved your ass. I mean, it's pretty simple. So him doing that, I I'm glad that they actually were able to see that because I was saying that it's very possible since they were all frozen in magic, uh, frozen in time, that they their, their ignorance would just carry on and they would still like kind of judge MASH or, you know, give him shit or whatever since they didn't know what he accomplished. And, and that's also if, you know, it, it, would be, it would depend on if the other people that were, you know, not frozen like Margaret, uh, the Divine Visionaries, Caldo, Orter, you know, all those motherfuckers, if they were to, you know, take MASH aside and, and serve as witnesses for everybody else. But then again, they might not do that. So I was saying, yeah, it's very possible that their ignorance prevails and they just keep on giving them shit. But now, after the last episode, they are able to actually see him in action and they saw him save all of them themselves, cheering him on everything. There ain't no way. Uh, it looks like he's got the full support of his, of his Magic Academy now, the students there. I mean, who wouldn't want to support this guy that was trying this fucking hard, being this selfless and saving everybody? So that was amazing to see. That's pretty much where we left off at the end of last episode. So I'm, I'm expecting this episode, we just get kind of a direction of where we're going to be going next season. Uh, maybe... Uh, a conclusion on the exam if it's going to be postponed or if it's really going to continue or there's already going to be because of this special circumstances with this invasion and mash and some of the other participants helping out with this invasion that you know they get some sort of special screening or you know some special decision is done for that reason i'm not really sure but I'm excited for this to see what direction we go into and how they set up this finale for the next season. So I'm very excited. Without further ado, let's get the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell, see the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Mashal episode 12 of season two. There's an explosion. Oh, Dot and Caldo found the guy. Uh, and. Orter is here too. 
Did you just fucking crush him? Okay, yeah, why wouldn't you at this point? Small show of brawn, right? He's continued to surpass your dumbass expectations every time. You try to start shit with him with Margaret, purposely taking him out so he wouldn't succeed. <laughs> Barrett. Yeah, you're, you, bro, you should be accepting that by now, but he's just, he's stubborn as fuck. Orcher's stubborn as fuck, dude. Okay, a couple days passing. Mm. The newspapers have hit the towns. Yeah, come on, bro. You're not gonna give Mash his proper fucking credit? Burdened by this grave knowledge, but like his friends know. Most of the students at Easton Academy should know too. They saw it go the fuck down. <laughs> Bro, I acting like you're not too, Lemon. You you're pretty quirky yourself. Tis the season. What the fuck? What in the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Barry is on some other shit. If we're talking about quirky lemon, yeah, you might be right. Barrett might be one of the quirkiest, dude. What the fuck? Like, who wanted to eat that, bro? Oh, yeah, Wahlberg just pulling up to the beach, bro? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> like, bro, I want to enjoy the sun and the water too, dog. Yeah, but not only that, he has Adam's magic too, the fucking dark magic. Top tier magic users in this world See okay we haven't met any of them yet Those are the other five fucking Children of his They had them all shadowed out You can't really see like what their actual character designs are It's just like kind of outlines Looks like we're gonna get that next season Damn right, he always overcomes shit naturally. <laughs> Barrett's face is be kicking me, dude. <laughs> That's one in two, a 50% chance. <laughs> Looking at it very simply. Muscles never lose. I bet that. Bet that. 100%. That's an interesting way of looking at it, Mash. <laughs> Bro, yeah, he didn't fucking hesitate at all to jump the fuck up there and save your ass, dog. That need of the face for Innocent Zero from Mash was so satisfying. Hell yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Good resolve. <laughs> Lemon. Uh oh. It's like, oh fuck, dude, I gotta study now. <laughs> <laughs> I love his voice actor. Uh, Brooke. Brooke from One Piece, bro. <laughs> that voice, ma voice actor is so good. His voice is just funny, bro. Damn, bro. Dude, we are way below a fucking F, dude. 
I want to go home. Are you telling me everybody else is really actually pretty good at fucking studying? Like they're good at academics? Yeah, Barrett of all people. Who would have thought he'd be so fucking responsible for academics? <laughs> yeah, they are putting him through the ringer straight up cramming exams, dude. Literally every subject. <laughs> His brain just exploded, dude. So brutal. Okay, looks like we're getting a little bit of momentum here, Mash. <laughs> They're making sure he get this shit done. No slacking. He's trying to. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna try and escape. Just literally went through the window. Where the hell did he go? Way off the outskirts of the fucking school? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? So random. Yeah, damn right. You think about it that way, you're taking out a bunch of tough opponents, tough ass motherfuckers, but you can't get a little bit of studying done? Casually gets out of the ground that he put himself in. What the fuck? Oh, mo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, he's being sarcastic. Here we go. Day in, day out. Conquered his shit. Moment of truth. Let's get these exams done. <laughs> Come on, Mash. You got this shit, bro. He's holding on the hope. What's the score gonna be? Watch it be something crazy. He's either gonna just fail miserably, even all of that fucking work put in, or he's gonna have a hundred. Usually, okay. There we go! There we go! Just barely pass. Okay, bad. Say less. Easy peasy. <laughs> Here comes this guy. Bamboo! Bamboo! Okay, can we say anything else? <laughs> Man, fuck all y'all! What the fuck is this dumbass shit? They're gonna act of blasphemy against God! <laughs> They're like, fuck all y'all, bro. Dude, shut your dumb asses up. Okay, Lemon? Wife. Yep, I knew she was gonna fucking take this chance. 
Come on, Lennon, you were having a good moment actually standing up for him, bro. I mean, you still kind of are, but like, this is making a trolley. Come on, reel it in, reel it in. For nameless characters, yeah, okay. Barrett. <laughs> yes, Barrett. Fuck yes, bro. Yo, nah. That is fucking hilarious. That's what I'm talking about. They fucking standing up for him. I love that shit. <laughs> I have one thing to say. Fuck y'all. Love it. Sinners. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, bet that. Come fuck your shit up. Damn right, we standing with you, bruh. Where we fucking go, Lemon? <laughs> Are y'all not being emotional by trying to fucking come over here and fucking riot for somebody not having magic? That you call that you call that logical, rational, not emotional, right? Okay. We throw the stones, but we're not emotional. Alright, alright. Yeah, throw all your fucking stones, bruh. I don't have magic, but I can deflect all that shit. Easy. Nothing. The fuck? I'll come down here and beat all y'all asses right now. Y'all have magic, right? Bruh, it's nothing. I literally just took out a giant. Yeah, you look stupid, dumbass bitch. <laughs> no matter when it comes to mash, dog. You should have fucking thought before you talk shit. This dumbass character, bro. Get this side character the fuck out of here, bro. Pack him up for the fucking end of the finale. Damn right. If I got regular citizens coming after me now and not giving me respect, I'll fucking prove it to y'all now. Since y'all ignorant as fuck. Yeah, shut y'all asses up real quick, huh? Yeah, it's very rare, right? He got good friends behind him, dog. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Getting back to that, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 what it seems like next season gonna be. We're gonna actually possibly get to divine visionary status and also deal with Innocent Zero and the other fucking kids. His brothers, I guess you would say, those motherfuckers that we saw. Kind of in the beginning of the episode at the beach, Wahlberg was talking about them and shit. I'm excited to see them and their character designs and everything. Bamboo! <laughs> this dude fucking came into the room, that's all he fucking said, dude. The Divine Visionary. With my fist. Mmm! End of season. Good shit, baby. That was a good finale. I fuck with that. That was good. Very good. Very good. Alrighty, guys. What another amazing episode of Mashal. The finale for season two. I think they ended that pretty fucking good. You know, I was expecting, you know, some sort of setup for next season, which we got pretty much throughout the beginning and in the, in, in the last of the ep or end of the episode. Kind of the focus for this episode since like the invasion ended and the exam ended or divine visionary exam ended. 
uh, was that they had final exams coming up that they had to prepare for. And Mash, this is obviously like one of the least things that he was fucking thinking about this entire time and probably completely forgot about it. And so he starts freaking out like, oh shit, here we go. Because <laughs> if you fail one of those, you're going to be expelled anyway. So obviously his friends, they all help him out. And it, <laughs> it's funny that literally all of his other friends, like even including Barrett, and lemon like they're all like pretty good when it comes to academics and then probably even more so for finn and lance like they probably are even better at academics but they seem to be all individually be able to hold their own besides mash i mean even barrett is somebody that's helping him with the with his studies uh throughout this episode and this is definitely mash's you know weak point is studying he's never been good at it. he's never liked it so he tries to run away, he tries to escape it. Finn goes to hype him up once again, talk to him like, you know, this isn't like you, bro. Like, you, you, you can take care of all these tough opponents, but you're not gonna fucking get some studying done. So that, you know, obviously pushes him forward once again. He comes back, they continue studying, helping him out. Exam day finally comes, and he actually fucking passes, passes the exams, just barely. Obviously the scores aren't still good. They're still not like great, but they're vastly improved from what his previous scores were, which were like, below 10 tens like literally like really bad like almost fucking not getting anything right literally zeros on the test uh to basically getting half points which is basically still like just barely passing like a fucking d or some shit or you know barely above like a fucking f so mission accomplished you know he survived you know the exams or final exams and uh is able to continue being a student thanks to that and not get expelled for something as dumb as that and then before that, we saw them have like a little beach day, you know, classic trope in anime, you know, it doesn't matter what universe, what world they're in, they're going to have a fucking beach day <laughs> and uh, have some fun. So that's what they did. And Wahlberg was actually there at one point. And then that's when we got a little bit of information on what could be happening in the next season uh, on terms of like who we're up against. Like, yeah, Innocent Zero could very well be or probably is the most powerful magic user in the realm as of right now. And that's who we're up against. And he wants MASH. And then he went on to explain like who's else is under him and who are apparently I think he called them brothers like in, as in reference to Mash's brothers, uh, which it's five of them obviously since Mash is the six and I don't think we've met any of them because it, it had all of them like kind of like outlined you know what I'm saying they're not like revealing the characters yet they just kind of have them outlined and kind of showing the auras of them and you know kind of just teasing us on who that who they are uh, and I didn't see Cell there so maybe Cell isn't one of the kids. Um, like whenever the mash and cell had their fight so maybe he isn't one of them and he was just on his high horse and you know thought he could fuck around and, and you know retrieve mash for himself and, and make innocent zero proud or happy whatever i don't know because from what we saw when Wahlberg was talking about these five individuals like when they teased them i didn't see i didn't see cell there unless i'm tripping like we can go back real quick maybe i can see the fucking the people that are there again um Yep, none of these motherfuckers look like Cell. Literally none of them. So, these are all characters we have not met yet. Because there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, none of, none of them look like Cell. So, Cell apparently is not one of the uh, children of Innocent Zero. Which kind of made it sound like it was whenever they were fighting each other. I don't know. But, yeah. We haven't met any of these characters yet. Any of these apparent, uh, apparent you know, siblings of MASH. And those are definitely going to come into play next season. That's why they mentioned it in this episode. But yeah, and then towards the end of the episode, we obviously get more fucking ignorant motherfuckers, you know, fucking uh, pro protesting about MASH being able to attend Easton Academy and having lack magic and being a divine visionary candidate and all this bullshit. And uh, it just goes to show that <clears throat> he has good friends because they stood up for him, even though it got a little trolly for a second, as MASH usually does. It's a funny ass comedic show at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, Lemon and Finn were, uh, or Lemon and Barrett were the main ones that really stood up on that balcony and like told them to fuck off or, you know, gave their reasoning on why they're going to support him. And, you know, he's a kind person. Like, I'm going to stand behind him. Like, fuck y'all. And, and Barrett literally said that shit. He literally came out and was, like acting like MASH's agent, so to speak, and gave like what he said, a message from MASH that he was reading off and then towards the end he, he just flipped them off and told them fuck you oh man that was so satisfying because that's how i'm reacting the whole time i'm like man fuck these people bro they don't know what they're talking about they're just you know going behind what they're they're used to rallying behind like oh he has lag magic like oh my god a sinner is just blasphemy to god all this bullshit like yeah okay shut up 
but yeah, it just showed that he has good friends and they stood up for him. And uh, and then also Mass towards the end, like he stood up for himself and he was like, you know, you guys may not like me now, but it's all good. I'm gonna continue to prove you all wrong. And then Wahlberg shows up and he's like, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna keep on asking for y'all's patience for a little while longer. You know, uh, you know, the result of what we're gonna do with him or what the verdict is, whatever, is not gonna happen until after the Divine Visionary exam. And he sweared again that he's going to become one. So that is the goal for next season. Yet again, he's going to become a Divine Visionary. I don't know if he will next season, so to speak. It's going to happen at some point. But we're going to continue down that road while also probably probably getting more in-depth in fighting Innocent Zero and his other children uh, since we got teased of them at the at, in this finale. So that's what I can expect for next season is continuing down the road of becoming a Divine Visionary and proving everybody wrong and actually fighting his siblings that are under Innocent Zero and Maybe taking them out. I don't know. But <sighs> I am very satisfied with that finale. Another good season of Mashal. Another good episode. Can't wait for this comeback. I mean, this season came pretty quickly after the first one. I wasn't expecting this show to come back as quick as it did. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get Mashal season three not too long from now. You know, six to nine months, which is most most of the time like how long a break is in between seasons for shows, especially one core seasons like this. This is only 12 episodes. Same with the first season. Um, so yeah, I don't feel like we'll have to wait for long and I'm excited for the future of this show. It's always a good time. It's fucking hilarious. Loved every second of it. And that's going to do it for Mashal season two. I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. If y'all did, please like down below, comment, subscribe for new, hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. I'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.